Returning guests uh, to the new show, Garage Talk. Uh, we're here. This is this is old school stuff, new school guy. It's, it's Noah Gregson, and we got Austin Barnhill. We're front porch chilling. What's up, man? Front porch chilling, baby. What you Austin's place right now? Okay, we're at Austin's place. What you guys getting into today? Yeah, what's the night? Uh, we're going to Ger- we're going to uh, Meldora, the go kart track. Okay, Freeway, Meldora. Look at him. We're going to Eldora. Yeah, I know uh, M- Mr. Uh, Tony Stewart. He's pretty pissed off uh, about the whole Bristol deal. What's he been saying? Yeah, he's uh, he's a little upset about that. Did you did you get to watch the race yesterday? I watched it. What's he mad about? He's mad because they went there and they didn't bring Cup Cars to Eldora. I mean, I can kind of understand it. So now he's pretty much like, hey, like trucks are out. Like no more trucks here. Like he's that, that ego's high on T Stu, you know what I mean? Like it's it's up there. Like he's ready. He he don't want he don't want that shit. He doesn't want any part of it. So yeah, but no, it's pretty dope that you guys are going out. You uh going to do some racing, man. We definitely wanted to talk with you about the dirt race. I was upset to find out that there was no Xfinity on dirt, and I want to know: Are you mad that you didn't get to race on dirt? No, I'm happy I didn't get to race on dirt because it was way more fun cracking open a claw and watching the race yesterday than uh <laughs> sitting there behind the wheel and thinking man wonder what all these people are thinking of me running 37th out of 40 right you now prob- you probably would have done way better actually because that I race shook out. 37. what's your favorite flavor noah uh white claw favorite flavor yeah i, I like black cherry okay. lemon Tangerines, all right. Um, back Black here. I heard. Uh, I heard. I heard Michael. Uh, Michael Waltrip's a big claw guy. Cheers. Is he? He's got his own beer company. Yeah, I know. I saw that. I saw that online. He's got his own deal going now. He's he's all over the place, man. I've always loved him. Like I feel like he should wear a tie dye shirt at all times. Um, but you never really know how that's going to work out. But no. So. Basically, with this entire race that's happening right now, uh, everybody was like super entertained by it. I was entertained by it. And it, you can't help but think that they're going to bring Xfinity to it next year now. They've already renewed it for 2022. So I don't understand why you don't think that you would be gung ho boogie out there. I mean, you saw, you saw what Ricky did. You saw Ricky Stenhouse finish second in the Cup Series yesterday. She had to get out there and get aggressive with it, man. Yeah, I just, I don't know. We need him to fill in. He's a, a He's a dirt guy. He's a dirt guy. I'm just uh, a pavement guy. Big pavement guy. But I'm a pavement guy, not a dirt guy. So, so the, the it didn't. It, it worked out though. It worked out for Cup guys. Noah's gonna give his seat to him. He's gonna give yeah. it. So it's gonna be like a Le Mans, like a 24 hour race. Like we just stop in the middle. Like when the guys are like moving robotically slow in the pits, like he'll just sneak in. You got to work on the disguise better, though. Like, Noah, you got to grow the mullet back out. Like, there's no way in hell this is going to uh, work. Show him your mullet. Let me see this. That's going to make Dale Tanhart pissed. <laughs> Look out. Yeah. Have you, seen, have, you seen our new, have you seen our new guy, Dale Tanhart, Noah? Have you seen him on social media at all? No. I don't think so. Dale, he's giving out picks, man. He's, like, up 38 units in trucks right now. Dude's just, like, stacking, stacking paper, man. Wait. Uh, no, I don't think I know him, actually. Uh, no. Well, he's there. You'll have you'll have to check him out and see him. He's big. He's doing the Xfinity and uh, he's covering Xfinity and trucks now. So that's really? kind of been like the jam. So yeah. So we're trying to expand more into the uh, the territory and the lifestyle of the Xfinity and get a little bit outside of the the Cup realm that where me and Drew stayed for most part. So we're looking uh, past the dirt race now. I guess like you guys watching, you got clawed. I mean, it's just just a great Monday. No uh, no bad Monday vibes. No bad Monday. No, never. There's no bad days, period. I want to talk. uh, Let's go into the season real quick, man. So a lot of people have been chatting up and and talking about you've been heavy in the news. 
is no no surprise. I don't know how many uh, how many interviews you've done since Atlanta or how many people you've talked to since Atlanta. So this could be like one of those first exclusives that are out here about it all. But uh, your luck kind of turned around a little bit in Las Vegas. But up until that point, it, it wasn't looking too high. I know the Homestead race was one that uh, that was a little disappointing. Take us back. Yeah, Homestead sucked. It's been a rough year. Rough year so far for us. It hasn't even really started yet, though. I mean, it's it's still we're still right here in the in the very front, man. We're in the. I know, but it's six opportunities we won't get back. You know, is my thing. No, we've been good at so. But I don't know. We'll keep on. We'll keep on fighting. Keep on trying our hardest, and keep on trying to uh, to be better, and uh, and try to go win races. Kind of going on Chase's point, though. I just want to ask you, like. There's more people. What's up, guys? All right. Hey. Hey. This is Austin's How are wife. You? Do we have a hey. nurse? Austin's a married man. We're married men. Congrats, Austin. We're married people. Congrats, Austin. All right. Yeah, Noah, Austin when are you getting married? Right Who are you married, Noah? Yeah. So weird. That's weird. Who are you going to marry? What? Who are you going to marry? Why aren't you married yet? I, I don't know. I just get annoyed with girls after like two or three days. So, like, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's just like, it's just out here, just like, just a pair of socks, man. You just, just got to leave them, you got to leave them by the dresser sometimes, you know? That's right. That's right. Okay. I'm all, I, yeah, you don't wear the same socks every day, you know? So, you don't, I don't have the same girl every day, you know? Kind of deal. Good life <laughs> analogy there. We love it. Drew, what were you going to ask him about Homestead? Yeah, so, Noah, you seem like a guy that's uh, mentally strong, in my opinion. Like, you, you don't let things get to you, obviously, or else you would have changed your behavior, and I, I respect that because you're mentally strong. But we have it in the garage, guys. We have an entire Discord group, and Discord's just a big, giant group chat. And at Homestead, we had a ton of money on you. Um <laughs> You race. guys too, shit, dude! I owe so many people money from Homestead. Oh my god! Because <laughs> right. I told everybody. You need to how much? How much we talking? Yeah. How much we talking here, Noah? I'm probably about ten grand deep right now. Oh shit! Look out. Okay. Grand. Ten, twenty grand. Yeah. The number keeps on growing. I get oh, people god. saying, "Oh, you owe me two hundred bucks. I bet on you for Homestead because you said to bet on." Yeah. That's probably like good. half of our people. Tell them get a fucking life. Tell them pay the bookie. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody's responsible for their own money, but I my I guess my phrasing in that question is you do seem like a mentally strong guy. Like how do you, do you just move on immediately the next day? Does it take time to recover? Like what's your kind of talk me through your psyche, I guess. I just drink a few white claws and forget about it. <laughs> nah, I Are you I sponsored know. by White Claw yet? No, I need it. I'm, we're trying. We're trying. We're ripping okay. down white claws. <laughs> You remember when you remember when you signed your future contract with us last time? Yeah. All right, we're gonna just rope that in there now. So we've got to get busy, Drew. You've got to. We've got to call. We got to call the people. We got to get the white claw on the board. I want. I want Noah in a white claw number nine Chevy Camaro. I mean, we got Bass Pro, obviously, all That'd the way through. Cool. But how many? How many races do we need? How many races are we gonna need, man? I just. We just. We don't need races. We just need a PSA sponsor. Um, we need Insta posts. We need just PSA sponsor of product. We just want product. Okay, kind of like kind of like what we have going on with Drip Drop. You want that with White Claw, where we get product, White we Claw. distribute. Yeah, it's like. But are you comfortable going to like your local, you know, like like Bass Pro Shop and like throwing out claws in the front of them and just saying here, like it, it's like Happy Halloween. Here's a White Claw, but just you know, you got to make sure I'll that you put just, them on a fishing pole. And throw them out. I'll cast them out. White I love claws, it. Baby. Fish has got to love claws too, man. Fish has loved claws. It's big you bait. With us, um, emailing White Claw on your behalf. Are you comfortable with that? Yeah, that'd be All sick. Right. All right. All right. We're like we're like low key management now for Noah Gregson. Managers. You heard it here I'll first. You I'll give you a case of commission. <laughs> okay. It's us. All right. I'm down with that. Um. So we got that. We got that out of the way. Let's go into. Uh, you want to talk about Atlanta or are you tired of talking about Atlanta? No, I haven't really talked about it too much, to be honest. All right. So this is a garage guys exclusive. Let's just, let's just dig right in. Okay. Um, did you connect with Hemrick? 
No, I missed them. It looked like you connected, man. I was, I literally made a review. Missed, but it's because my crew chief pulled him back. I thought he had one hell of a juke until they told me today that my crew chief pulled him back. So he wasn't matrixing me. He just, and he wasn't that fast. He just, my crew, somebody pulled him away from me. Yeah, it looked like you hit him. Like I made a review video where I was eating a uh, roast beef po' boy, and I graded the fight. I gave it a B minus. Uh, it could have been, it could have been better, but I mean, it was just exciting. It was the first action of the season, you know. Um, yeah. And and I saw the footage you put out about where you were backing into the pit stall, and then you know where he kind of came up first or whatever. And uh, I mean, do do you think this rivalry is worth it? Like, is Daniel Henry worth it for a rivalry? No, or I would you rather use that card minutes. later on for someone else? No, I got to use it for like a, a pretty good guy, you know? Right. So, Hemrick, uh, Hemrick's not worth it for sure. I mean, it's just I've never seen a poppy bank before. So, I'm just going to go ahead and just say I haven't that. Either. Yeah, I don't <laughs> know what that is. Either. I've seen a lot of Bass Pro Shops, hadn't seen many poppy banks. So, you know, <laughs> obviously, we're going to take your side. I mean, we're, you know, low key management now. So, yeah, so we're here for that. Um, if you could go back, uh, what would you have done differently to make sure that uh, the connect was made? How would you have approached the uh, the, the throwing of the hands? Oh, well, my jujitsu coach. I was supposed to go out to jujitsu today, but having a white class. How's that better. going? Nah, yeah, it's going good. I'm pretty good against a non-moving target, but when they throw the targets in there and they're moving, yeah, I struggle. It's kind of like math. Yeah. Kind of like Matt, you gotta like kind of move the one over. Yeah, you know what? You gotta carry the one over and make sure you, you hit them. Yeah, math. Math when you get when you throw in three plus nine, it you gotta carry the one over and it's it's, it's kind of like fighting, you know. Yeah, fuck math. Not a big fan of it. Um I know. fuck math, honestly. Yeah, so <laughs> So when we're when we're going forward now from Atlanta, obviously, do you uh, have you talked to Daniel at all? Like since then, like is there going to be any no. more shit? No, I'm in his hood right now though. He's grew up in Kannapolis. I'm in Kannapolis right now. Bro, you need to go and like pull out like an old like you know like Manny Fresh CD. You know, like house real big, cause real big, and like get some spinners and just roll up by his house, dude, and just see what happens. <laughs> just stare at him through a window. Inside, I, Anthony, I did look up spinners. Yeah. Dude, spinners, dub spinners are expensive. Yeah. I thought about getting them on my car. I got like a Tahoe, it's black, and I thought about putting dub spinners on my car. And dude, you know how like gnarly that would be to just cruise around like Concord. And I got to see the car first. Show me. Just spin that thing. Zing. Uh, do you remember do you remember the pump shoes when you were a kid the ones the the day days that had the uh well no you were that was when i was it looked like mickey mouse clubhouse just pulling up sideways and shit around here You're like mickey mouse club dude, look at uh, these guys dude, they're balling the out. Fucking, dude, mickey mouse clubhouse yeah, this dude, is like these, this is like big mix balling. like big mix driveway it's more like that you know all in like curry i love Inside it so Outside so is this the car we're putting spinners on the white car yeah the white one Okay. I mean, I'm here for it. Step inside our line. Drew, what, what song, like, what type of subwoofer system and I what type of spinner should go on window. this car? Are those leaves? I like the black car. I put or the it. eucalyptus in the windshield because I have eczema. Oh, shit. So, you, all right, do you, how many, uh, do you use, like, my wife, she's really big into essential oils and, like, spells and shit, you know, like, using all the potions or whatnot. You big into eucalyptus and shit like that? Like, you know, you, like, pouring oils on you, like, for, like, good fucking vibes and shit? Yeah, it smells good. It does. I put it in the shower. I'm a big fan of spearmint and eucalyptus. You should try it. I got spearmint hand sanitizer, even though I don't use it. Dude, I bet that smells fucking fantastic. What's your favorite candles? Uh, I'm a big ocean breeze guy. Uh, no, I, don't I, like, like, I don't like vanilla. Old I only do vanilla candles. I got a vanilla white claw candle. Yeah, it's a white claw can with a vanilla candle. We got to okay. get you a white claw. For, we got to get you a white claw sponsorship. Yeah, I love white claws. That's coming for sure. We're white claws do that. turn me on. Yeah, they get him yeah. Randy. Yeah. Are you Austin? Are you Austin Powers fan? Hmm. I have seen it, but Chef nah, Boy, educate like this Step man. Brother. Step Brothers. What's your guys' favorite movie? It's safe to say. Step it's safe to say that Step White Claw is you, Randy. 
No, Step Brothers is good. That's a good choice. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. So, hey, who's racing tonight and who are you picking to win? Uh, Austin's racing. Okay. Uh, tonight. And I'm going to pick the nine year old he's going up against, Wyatt. That's it. So, this is the guy who's been your Instagram post, the little guy, the nine year old. This is him. Okay. He's no, not just nine. Kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no, Austin actually is the crew chief on that car. That's awesome, man. No, I think and it's so cool. I think it's cool. That's, shit. Uh, LW and Kelly, Kelly Earnhardt Miller. Hey, yeah. You know, her son, Wyatt, is he's the man on the. That's over epic. At Wyatt Miller Motorsports. I want, I want Austin. He's the wrench. Austin. Can we Yo. get Austin? What's Noah's worst quality? Oh, God. Probably. Only mm. bros answer this question. Only Being a fuck bros. stick. I'm a fuck yeah. stick. <laughs> yeah. Is it only when he's drunk or is it when he's sober as well? Sober. Sober? All yeah. I mean, it's, it's constant. It's all the time. I vibe yeah, with yeah. it. I mean, you, you, just, you just out here spitballing, man. Like, I, I fuck with that. Like, you just out here spitballing. We're good. Like this, this is the kind hey, of guy. Noah's the kind of guy you ball. could have like a rabbit hole conversation with for yeah, like two hours and get Curry. nowhere. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. that's what I love. Who's the next Steph Curry? Oh, uh, these I can't. I don't know if you can see him, but there's these guys like throwing down from downtown. They're Dude, you should run over there right now. You should go. You should go over there and get them on here. <laughs> Come on and do it. There's no laws yeah. with claws. You know the rules. Go. <laughs> not not quite my crowd <laughs> oh we got him okay that works no man well look we got really too young they're up. too young is why they're just too young okay i understand that i can understand that for sure um we got more races coming up obviously we got easter break how are you celebrating easter this weekend well um i'm going back to vegas go see my family that's dope uh, gonna go see them and then uh, go back for my grandpa's birthday sometime around now, um, April 1st, whenever that is. Your grandpa's born April Fool's Day? Yeah. Dude, how does that play out? I don't know. You say happy birthday, or he says it's my birthday, and then you're like, you're like what? It's April Fool's. It's not your birthday. And then, yeah. Does he is is he just like submit? Is he just like oh man? Like does he like is he like one of those kind of guys or is he just like like punch you in the gut? He's pretty old. I don't really know what he's is saying half the time. You know. Yeah, you got you got to find the you got to find a level of humor with 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 the older folks in your family. That's that's yeah. when things get real fun. I know. Yeah. No, he's cool though. Like my grandpa, he's he's a cool guy. He's fun. That's awesome. It's good to hear, Grandpa. We're a big fan of grandpas. I had a grandpa. I think Drew had one. Yeah, we've all we've all had them. Y'all, you guys have had grandpas. Do you guys have grandpas? Have you ever had a grandpa? Yeah. You had two yeah, grandpas. I, I had a grandpa while he died way too long. <laughs> this is a How huge coincidence. We all have grandpas. Wow. Um, I love it. Is it your birthday a, this year? I have a more yeah, match dude. Match. I have a birthday. I had a birthday this year. Drew, you've got one coming yeah, up, right? This year. I gotta ask. He's a Vegas born person. Noah, do you want to bet? I have a lock for March Madness tonight. Do you want to bet it with me? Gonzaga. Gonzaga. It's the other side on the spread, plus nine and a half. You better listen huh? to the chef. Plus nine and a half, the other side of the bet, not Gonzaga. Yeah, I got Gonzaga. Watch. Okay. I don't even watch fucking basketball. All right, hey, so what So what are you going to do? Him. What are you going to do if you lose? What are you going to give him? You, you, you wait, figure a wager out right now. Cook something. <laughs> What? I don't even watch Sweet 16. USC. Why are you betting on it? <laughs> I'm not. Austin said Gonzaga, so I said Gonzaga. All right. Easy answer. All right. So, Chef, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do if Chef – Chef's trying to give you free money right now, and if you don't get it, what's going to happen? Gonzaga. I'm offering Noah a free bet on my sports book for plus nine and a half on USC. He's denying it, so that means that we must get – Who's USC one. playing? Zaga. <laughs> Yo, we're going to have fun football season, Noah. USC. Did they actually? Yeah. Dude, USC's not even playing. 
USC is playing Gonzaga and UCLA is playing Michigan for sure. Oh, that's a neck. That's a oh, bet. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> he said they're already out. So who you got? Gonzaga. No, I got USC. I got USC they're plus nine. Lose. All right, so you're with me, and we're gonna place this bet. Yeah, that's good. I'm not paying you though if we lose. Yeah, I'll show you. Though. All right, well this show, this show wait, is gonna wait, drop wait, 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 wait. late, obviously. So like this is gonna drop. This no, is gonna wait. drop later in the week. So we'll know. We'll know what happened here. No, nah, dude, I got Gonzaga. I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> All right. Wait, you have USC plus nine? Plus nine and a half, but yes. What does that mean? I don't bet. Plus nine and a half means that they plus need to. If, if, if Gonzaga Gonz- wins uh, by less than nine, I win. If Gonzaga wins by less than nine, I win. Your boys, no, your boys no they will not beat them by more than 20. No, they will not. You know, I think it's time Noah comes to the Discord. Yeah, I think time. it's time we teach. I think it's time we teach Noah how to get these basketball and the football, everything but NASCAR. That's what we're gonna work with. with I have my crew on. over here playing basketball, and the streets gonna win. We need to go. That's what I'm saying. The streets is watching. They talking too. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you you gotta be out here for them, baby. You gotta be out here for them. All right, look, uh, we're gonna let we're gonna let y'all get after it. Look, this this is gonna be dropping late, so we're gonna know we're gonna know who won this. But uh, we'll hit you up on Twitter. And uh, we'll talk about it. This has been fun as always. These are the these are probably the best interviews that we have w- or with you, just because they yeah, are. I need out to of... do it during the day when I'm not like preoccupied a little bit, you know. Yeah, no. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is this: I don't think I would have it any other way at this point. I sure, always right. want to do interviews when you're about to go somewhere <laughs> or you are going somewhere. Uh, like, that's the work. only way you will ever be able to be on the show, like, at all. So I'm going to always make sure that that's how we line this up from here on out. This is the best. These are the funnest times of life. So, look, man, it was a pleasure. Love talking to you as always. And we will let you know who wins. And y'all go have fun dirt racing. Austin, Austin's wife, pleasure meeting you guys. Later. All right, y'all go rip the top. We'll see y'all. All right, Garage Fam, we're out. Uh, sneeze. See ya. See you guys. Run.